Hello, I'm Lenny McGill, the master of concealment, and today I want to talk about one of our most popular holsters. In fact, uh, this holster outsells all the others for a lot of reasons. One, of course, is the price point, uh, but secondarily because you can wear it with just about anything in just about any occasion, from a swimsuit to a tuxedo, everywhere in between. The belly band holster is one of our most popular holsters because of the fact that you can wear these wherever you go with just about any clothing you have and conceal a full-size handgun. Now, people always call me up and say, well, what kind of holster should I get? You know, what kind of, uh, I want to conceal, but I, you know, I, I don't want it to be, uh, you know, a big belt holster. What, what should I get? You know, and so I always ask them a couple questions and you should always ask yourself the same questions. What's your body sty style? You know, what type of body you have? You're a big guy, you're a thin guy. Uh, can you carry a gun inside the waistband because that is the most effective way to carry a handgun inside the waistband which means that the gun itself most of the gun is inside your pants and then a holster like a belly band or another inside the waistband holster will actually carry uh, the gun and, and make sure it doesn't fall through your pants uh, the belly band holster let me go ahead and show it to you real quick comes with two pouches for two different style guns of course it's velcro it's a surgical grade elastic. All right. The inside of the holster has the tag. Okay, so that's what goes around your body. And you'll see there are two pouches, one here and one over here. And the pouches are different sizes for different style guns. So let me show you here with a with a Glock. I can put this guy in basically right here. And it's going to carry the gun like so. And again, like I said, the tag goes into your body for right-handed shooters. If you're left-handed, just switch it around. Tag goes on the outside. And then it works as a left-handed holster. That's how the belly band uh, works. It supports the gun. The elastic will stretch and the gun you know, will be captured. And you also use your belt and waistband band to capture the gun as an inside the waistband holster. Now, this belly band also features a small pouch for a spare magazine or documents, money, car key, credit cards, etc. So it's a pretty neat little travel pouch as well that you could wear uh, to carry other things with. But it's designed primarily as a handgun holster. Uh, right now, I'm actually wearing a belly band and I have a little mini car with it. So when you carry a small gun like this, nice and flat, nice and easy, nice and light, you almost forget you have it on. Basically just slip it in and I've got it in the appendix carry. And there's the carry right there. You can see nothing up my sleeve, but when I want to get to it, get to it. Now keep in mind, concealment holsters like this, and especially inside the waistband holsters, are not really speed holsters. Uh, they're designed to allow you just to carry the gun and forget about it, to bury it on your body, have it all day long in case you need it. If some bad guy's got a gun on me, I'm probably not going to be able to outdraw him. However, if he is distracted and looks away and I can get my hand in there, I can come out faster. So that's the idea is somehow to be able to distract or know, be aware of the danger before it actually happens and see it coming and be able to get to the gun and come up. All right. So no matter how you do this, and cover it, you can see I just have a regular sweater on here. You can have a regular t-shirt, and certainly a big coat would cover this as well. And that's the nice thing about an inside the waistband holster. There's no holster body sticking out below your belt. So everywhere you look, it's basically just as you'd normally wear, and no one would know, especially when you carry a smaller gun. Now, you can also carry, like I said, this is a small little car, very flat, single stack, but you can also carry Say Glock 19, very comfortably. Of course, the guns are unloaded here. This is our practice session. And there's the 19. Again, not really like you're going to see it unless you're looking for it, OK? Because the jacket, the sweater's all over the place. But when you want it, get to it. So we're going to always go ahead and practice our technique keeping the finger outside of the gun until we come up to point the gun down range. So we're going to go ahead and pull up, expose, get a grip on the gun. At this point, I can actually speed up a little bit and come up. And again, if you really watch, 
my fingers off the trigger, out of the trigger guard area, all the way up until the gun is pointed down range. So you don't have to be in a hurry on that, because that's just milliseconds to get down there as such. All right. So I, I want to make sure you always stress safety when you reholster the gun. Of course, you got to keep your finger off the trigger. Make sure everything's cleared up. And you know, of course, with an inside the waistband holster, you've got to get it situated and get it down where you want. Now, this is the appendix carry. And of course, the, the nice thing about the belly band is you can rotate it around and wear it any position you want. You could have the gun on the back. You could rotate it around on the front. You could be on the left side. It would be all the way any which way you want. So that's really one of the, the key advantages of the belly band. They're available in black and white. The low cost, the fact that you can wear it with just about anything, and you can carry just about any gun. Any self-defense handgun will fit in this belly band, and you'll be able to carry it and conceal it, and it will provide you with the ability to carry that gun and have it when you need it. I'm Lenny McGill. Thanks for watching.